I'm here in Portlock today and I'm gonna photograph in some of those trees behind me. It's a nice day today. It has got no cloud. Beautiful sunset as I expect. And yeah, no, no one around. Um, there is one car park with a hotel and, and restaurant. There's a bunch of people. I almost couldn't find a, a parking space to park up. But finally I managed that walk down here I thought yeah you know my some of people are gonna be around but it's only me my dog nice nature nice to be out and finally do some photography <laughs> Let's get my much better. So this place is truly amazing. Um, I have a beautiful sunset. It's just around getting a nice, um, a very nice orangey look. So uh, I took a couple images and um, hopefully you're gonna like it. So I did do a nice bracketing exposure over here. Uh, I've got a foreground in this pond and a tree and a hill and a bit of sun in the, uh, in the background. So the reason I'm here is um, 14 years ago I um, came to Minehead. This is so close to the town or area and obviously I've never been here before so I thought I'd come down explore a little bit more this uh, place and I really do like and I'm glad I came down to Porlock and uh, walking through the Pabo Beach and then I end up to this place over here.
completely empty. This is big open space. There's no one around. So this is my another composition. I really do like this um, this foreground. This going uh, is going like down, like a U shape, and I just put the tree in the middle there. And I ex expect him to crop in like a square image. And I think it's a nice, simple, clean image. Yeah, so back to the story. So uh, I'm just a little bit all over the place at the moment. I was living and working in Minehead for seven years. And then now another seven years is gone from that date I moved out. I just came back after another seven years. And it's, it's just nice to be here, and especially this time of year. In this video, can I be shown how the uh, the nature and all the trees are beautiful this time of year? It's got you know nice and fresh uh, green and different kind of colors and flowers and all that. But this was my bucket list to find one of these dead trees. Um, I couldn't find anywhere, and recently uh, I have a book so. Uh, I love this book over here and it said uh, there's Porlock and there is uh, several images in there so I thought why not just uh, come in here down here and visit. So this is a beautiful place especially if you are around this area in Somerset. I highly recommend to come down here and photograph in or even just come down here and having a nice you know out so just enjoying the quiet place and bird around this the sounds is amazing so this is another vertical composition where i place this big tree uh, on on the side and i have a, another small tree over there and i try to uh, that branch is not touching that tr that tree so uh, I'm really hope is is really not touching that so um, let's just zoom in and let's see it's touching or not yeah it's just about it I guess and another thing I want to do is by Photoshop is get rid of this branch to get more cleaner so probably just this or a little bit there maybe leave a little bit of gap but uh, overall i guess this is the uh, the third or fourth image i took another one a couple more think uh, I'm finished with this video probably is gonna be a bit quick video but um, but this is what it is for today so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support my channel please give me a thumbs up consider to subscribing because more video come in up more adventure and more photography and I say goodbye bye Steady on the hand, fly home, sweet home, where the saucers go to get all cleaned up and put away. Call it a day.
So on the way home, uh, I had to stop here um, because the light still really good, like a or magenta, if you like. Um, a little bit of water, a kind of long exposure-ish. I just really like the color. I just had to stop and take this incredible view from here. Stay